Hello beautiful internet family, Dan here from danstube.tv and today I have a really fun comparison between the Osmo Pocket and the newly released Osmo Action. Both of these products are from DJI and I will have both of the links in the description below to check them out on Amazon. They are both very similar in their pricing structure so this is just really a comparison and a review to let you guys know what you're going to be getting with each unit so that hopefully you can make your mind up about which one suits your lifestyle and your needs. Now first things first, I won't be doing a side by side in this video and that's purely because the field of view on the Osmo Pocket is 80 degrees where the Osmo Action has a field of view of 145 degrees. So the Action is a lot wider and it just didn't really work when I did a side by side. So I'm just going to showcase footage from both the Pocket and the Action and then you can make your mind up in the comments below. Both units have a max video bitrate of 100 megabits per second, although the Osmo Action does seem to trump the Pocket pocket when it comes to a few other video settings. So first things first, it offers 8 times slow-mo at 1080p, so that's 240 frames per second, where the pocket shoots 120 frames per second in full HD, also known as 1080p. The other thing that the Osmo Action has over the pocket is that it can shoot 4K HDR video. So 4K HDR works up to 30 frames per second, but the Osmo Action itself can shoot up to 60 frames per second in the normal video mode, and the Osmo Pocket is exactly the same. It can shoot up to 60 frames per second, but it does not feature that HDR video mode. Now another difference between these two units is the battery, where the Osmo Action has a removable battery, and the Osmo Pocket has a built-in battery. So for a lot of people, that is a massive downside. I personally haven't had any issues, and the the battery life on the Pocket is fantastic, it holds the battery life really well, doesn't take long to charge and you get a lot of battery life out of it. It's a similar story with the Osmo Action, even though it does have the removable battery, I've noticed that the battery doesn't discharge, it holds charge really well, you get a lot of battery life out of it, and it also doesn't take that long to charge. So both of them are very similar in that regard, although the Pocket is an internal battery, while the Osmo Action is a removable battery. I've been very happy with the video quality from both the Pocket and the Action. The 4K footage does look phenomenal from both units. The low light performance is actually pretty decent, although I think the Pocket might have the edge in low light. And then the slow motion footage looks fantastic as well. So both units have amazing video quality and the photo quality is also really nice from both units. Now one thing that's different between the two units is one is designed as an action camera where the other one is designed as a all-in-one gimbal system with a built-in camera basically. So the Osmo Pocket has that mechanical 3-axis gimbal and the Osmo Action has Rocksteady which is their electronic image stabilization. And amazingly enough they both perform really really well. I'm extremely impressed with the electronic image stabilization. It actually performs really really well although it does completely fall apart in low light and it also has a few issues when the scene is isn't that well lit, if you have a few shadows in the scene, then the Osmo Action will struggle a little bit. Where the Osmo Pocket having that mechanical 3-axis stabilization, it performs phenomenally well in pretty much any situation, although I do notice still a little bit of focus hunting in low light situations, and occasionally when you have too much going on in the scene, where the Osmo Action has this infinity focus, so pretty much everything in the scene is in focus. Both the Osmo Pocket and the Osmo Action have completely different designs. The Osmo Pocket is more of an upright thin gimbal, where the Osmo Action just looks like an everyday rectangular action camera. So they really are designed for two different environments, although they both complement each other really well. They both have something unique over the other option, and honestly, you can get both of them if you really want. If you have the money, get both of them. But it really does depend on your needs. I think the Osmo Pocket, in my opinion, is the perfect overall camera. I think it's probably one of the greatest camera units I've honestly ever purchased. It just has everything I need. It has that amazing 3-axis stabilized footage. And overall, I have nothing to floor about the Pocket besides maybe a little bit of focus hunting. But the unit itself is phenomenal, and I've been very happy with it. But then on the other side, we have the Osmo Action, which is trying to compete with the GoPro range. And honestly, they have done a fantastic job. You have custom profiles. You have de-warping, so you can turn that off and have more of a 
genuine kind of shot of a scene without that uh, fisheye look and that warped look to the image, which you do get in a lot of these other action cameras. So as just an overall unit, the Osmo Action still does a fantastic job. The Osmo Action also has that front-facing screen so you can frame the scene and know what's going on. They both have decent audio. They're not fantastic in the audio realm, but they both do a decent job with audio. Um, so it's hard to say. It really does depend on what your needs are. I think the Pocket is the perfect overall, where the Osmo Action is also a really good overall, but for some reason I just prefer the Pocket, the form factor, what you can get out of it. And it's just such a flawless unit and such a unique unit as well. So anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you prefer the pocket or the action? I'd love to know why in the comments below. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe as I will have a lot more content in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to have a splendid day and peace out.